Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another coffee time with Cobra, and uh, this one is going to be a bit of a, a bit of a serious subject matter for me. Um, I recently got tested because I wasn't feeling so good, and I came back uh, positive for COVID again. This is the fifth time, and I'm just getting over it. I've got like two days left on my quarantine thingy for the seven days. So, doctor says it's okay for me to go out. And I do need to go out because I'm out of everything. Bread, milk, you name it. Mm. I mean, quite literally, I squirted the last of my milk for this coffee, so. And then, about... Three or four days in, I felt really, really bad. To the point where I couldn't breathe. So I called 111. And they gave me an inhaler. Well, they told me to call my doctor. So I called my doctor. And he put in an emergency prescription for this inhaler. To help my lungs expand so I could breathe. And, um that helped but then I started coughing up really bad stuff made an emergency appointment was finally eventually seen by someone and they said that it sounds like a chest infection because I listened to my lungs and everything so I said it's not COVID then and they went, no it is you've got COVID but now you've also got a chest infection So I'm taking an antibiotic for that, for the chest infection. But I can't take my painkillers at the same time. So that sucks. So I've got that going on in my life right now, which is why I sound a little bit raspy, a bit. I sound a little bit. Deeper, mm. yes, quite deeper, mm. deeper. <laughs> oh, I sounded like uh, the villain from um, I'll Get You Next Time, Gadget. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I've been dealing with that, and as you can see, some packages came. And uh, I'll be doing a review of some of that stuff that came. Uh, one of which is a tripod for the painting table. Because I've got a whole bunch of uh, miniatures. that I'm going to be doing uh, painting tutorials. Well, not, they're technically not tutorials, but they're, they're similar to this coffee time. But it's just me painting miniatures and just talking out of bollocks into this. Uh, my headset. Uh, this isn't obviously this is the microphone I'm using, but um, I'm going to be using it uh, uh, My other headset With that one because apparently the boom microphone that's over there is useless like next to useless So I'm going to be setting up and using a proper like short distance microphone I wanted to get a lapel microphone. I also picked up a GoPro Because I want to do like a, a 4k close-up of when I'm painting the miniatures so you guys can actually like so when I'm holding the miniatures painting them there's gonna be like a camera looking just solely at the miniature so you can see what I'm doing uh, as well I'll be doing that uh, the on track series videos for world of tanks will be started back up I just recently joined a clan uh, in the EU and um, that's run by a friend of mine so I will be uh, getting back onto doing the on tracks. They were doing the Italian tech tree, okay. Uh, as well on the North American account, uh, I we just finished up the Soviet tech tree. So what we might do uh, is we might look at uh, picking another tech tree. Probably to, probably finish off the Japanese tech tree. I'm not sure yet. So that's that. Uh, in in uh, enlisted, I'm getting back into. Uh, I I figured out some of the quirks about enlisted. 
um, but they still need to fix a lot of the uh, issues. The one thing I will give um, them credit for is they are getting on top of the hackers. Um, I'm starting to see less and less of them, but they are still in the game, sadly. But it's what it is. It's a cat and mouse game with them. Um, what else? <clears throat> Brain fart. Um, yeah, I'm still going through the German tech tree and enlisted first. I want to get them to, to rank five uh, in the uh, uh, enlisted tech tree. Uh, so that would be fun. And then I think I'll probably go American then Japanese and leave the Soviets till last. Why? Because they're Soviet. Sorry, not sorry. Uh, what else? Um, oh, I've got some trips planned. Um, I have put in my pre-order for Boddington Tank Museum's Tank Fest. So I will be going to there. I will be taking some cameras. Uh, well, I've got to buy a new camera because my old digital camera took a major shit on me. So I want to take a good camera. I'm going to take my GoPro with me um, and have that like on my chest kind of thing. Uh, I'm also trying to sweet talk my way because um, I know someone at the museum. Uh, I'm going to try and sweet talk my way uh, into uh, trying to get into the back section of the uh, um, tank museum and uh, see if I can't uh, snag some uh, more one-on-one -on -one time with some of my favorite tanks uh, Panzer threes Shermans uh, things of that nature uh, and why and explain why they are my favorites uh, I can talk I can talk shop about tanks till the cows come home and I mean that I can Mostly because uh, Panzer III's uh, were the backbone. Panzer III, Panzer IVs were the backbone of the German army. If they just stuck to producing Panzer III's and Panzer IVs and not bothered with Panthers and, and whatnot, they probably would have won the war. I mean, they'd got the manufacturing times down on Panzer III's and Panzer IVs to the point where they could spurt them out pretty quick, but not as fast as the Allies. Let's be honest, the Allies could spurt out 10 Shermans for every one Tiger, you know, on average. And don't even get me started on the piss poor quality that was Soviet tanks. Please. Um, but uh, those aside, uh, I've also got that planned. I'm planning to go up to March, which is a small town just outside of Cambridge, and see my family that live up there. Um, also see a lady friend that's up there. Um, and when I mean lady friend, I just mean she's a friend. she was a friend of my grandmother. So she's in her 90s, so relax, guys. <laughs> but uh, she uh, was very nice and very kind to my grandmother. And uh, my nan always told me to repay that level of kindness. So that's my plan. Uh, I also have plans on hooking up with DDG over in Europe. So I've got a European trip planned. Got my passport, got everything set. Just got to get the tickets and the hotel and, and whatnot all set. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing over there. Couldn't freaking tell you. Uh, I wouldn't mind seeing a couple of museums, maybe some tank museums and see what they got out there and, and whatnot, maybe purchase a few uh, 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 member beaters. I am in the market for a German World War II helmet. Um, I'm also in the market for some other German uh, 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 military member beater as well. Um, nothing too, you know, SSE or anything like that. But uh, just general Wehrmacht stuff. So, you know. And I don't even want a full uniform. I just want, I want things like like the buttons. You know. Just things of that nature just to have. I don't know if someone will start collecting uh, US and uh, uh, Allied Forces stuff as well at the same time. Uh, actually, there's, actually, there's probably one thing I do want. And that's a Japanese Osaka rifle. Uh, the Type 2 Osaka rifle? Yeah, the Type 2 Osaka rifle. Um, deactivate, of course. You know, I don't want like an actual fully activatable rifle. Well, it would be nice, but point is, it's England. Yeah. Um, I am also looking at going up a few qualifications in my uh, cybersecurity courses that I'm doing. 
Um, I am fully certified cybersecurity specialist now, but there is a chance I can go up. I'm at currently level two. I want to go to level three. And the reason why is because if you go to level three, it's a, a, a worldwide recognized certification, which means it'll be a lot easier for me to get a US work visa and get back to the States. That's my goal. My goal is to get back to the US. I, 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 I'm done. I'm done with England. I want nothing to do with England. I, I just... I I wanna I I, I wanna leave. <laughs> I'm I'm done. <laughs> Check please. I wanna cash out. Um, so yeah, there's that. Uh, which means I'm gonna have to sell all these computers that I've painstakingly built, with the exception of some of the parts in this computer, like the graphics card and whatnot. I will ship those separately to the US, <laughs> so I've got a decent fucking graphics card <laughs> and whatnot. So that when I do get to the US, I can start building a computer. I've got my laptop as well, but that will be for work. Um, things of that nature. You can tell my medication starting to work because my voice is getting even deeper now. Mm. <laughs> uh, so yeah, there is uh, there is that going on right now. And um, it is interesting to say the least. As to what's going on with me, uh, health-wise, uh, I will be bundling up. I'll have my hoodie. I'll have my gloves. Um, you know, I'll have my. Um, you know, I haven't worn a pair of dungarees since I was about eleven or twelve, and I've been finding myself looking on Amazon for for dungarees of all things. Fucking dungarees! It's like here, uh, dungarees. Men's dungarees, okay? Men's dungarees are £80 right now. For a pair of fucking dungarees. Are you insane? And they're not even a decent... They're not, they're not even, like, a decent brand. Are you bonkers? Sorry, but I, I love dungarees. Dungarees were were something I wore on my uncle's farm, and a lot of people are like, "What dungarees? Yep, dungarees." <laughs> I used to wear them all the time. Oh God. So I'm an XL. Okay, these dungarees are—they come in grey, black. Yeah, I had them in black. Let's put that in my clothing wish list. I'll get to that when I can. So yeah, I just put a pair of dungarees in there. And the reason why is because dungarees you've got pockets for tools, pencils, things of that nature, and. and Always want extra pockets. Yeah, plus dungarees are always good good to wear. They're fun to wear. Workman's clothes is what they are. Workman's clothes. And um, uh, last video I talked about only buying a car. Uh, I did buy it. Uh, there was quite a few problems with it. That's why I got it so cheap. And um, I decided to cut my losses because uh, finding it, it, the reason why I decided to cut my losses is because trying to find parts in the UK is a pain in the ass, especially if the car is over 10 years old, because England has like anti laws against fixing your own shit anymore. I swear. Um, thank you, city cunt. Um, And so it's getting harder and harder to find parts for classic cars. Um, and this was a 2002 Ford. So, yeah. The car was 21 years old. So, is what it is. So I took it to We Buy Any Car. And I think I walked away with an extra 20 quid in my pocket. So, you know, I made 20 quid. Um, but I've got no wheels now, so that sucks. Uh, just... 
gives me a reason to start focusing on other things in my life. Um, so yeah, it was my daughter's birthday a couple of days ago. Bought her a uh, Pandora charmed bracelet, some curtains and bedding, and a whole bunch of just stuff that she needed for uni. Uh, the Pandora bracelet, of course, I, I got her for you know because it's something she's always wanted. Um, what else? Oh. There'll be updates coming soon uh, on the Mando cosplay and stuff. So I just got, like I said, I got the blaster. That's going to get painted. I got the helmet to paint. Um, the helmet, I want to paint last. And there's a reason why. Because I want to go with like a... Um, in Warhammer 40k, there's a, a Space Marines chapter called the Carcaridons. Uh, space Sharks, basically. And they've got lots of like shark totems and stuff on their helmets and stuff i want to take that sort of premise and apply it to a mandalorian and uh but yeah some of the uh stuff i've purchased uh it's still on its way it's being shipped to me from etsy um some of it does meet the mandalorian mercs requirements and some of it doesn't so i've got to go through what does and what doesn't and then swap and change and this and that and yeah I mean, I'm not looking to, to to be part of any specific group or whatnot. I just want to go to cons and do some charity stuff in my spare time and help out charities where I can and do uh, Imperial marches, things of that nature, you know. Generate some money for sick kids. Even go to a couple, even go to Great Ormond Street and uh, cheer some kids up, you know. Good karma, you know, good, good, good soul points, you know. Recharge the batteries. So I've got that. I'm gonna drink my coffee, sir. What else is there? Um My younger brother has his surgery planned for Valentine's Day of all days. Uh, he was due to have surgery last month, but it got cancelled twice due to strikes. So uh yeah. That's gonna be fun I guess. Uh, Monday I will be physically seeing my daughter along with her mum they'll be coming down here to Reading that'll be fun uh, I'm also going to be doing a bit of spring cleaning so I'm going to be tidying up a whole bunch of shit and throwing shit out that just needs to just be yeeted you know clear up the place I've also got to re replace the FEP sheet in uh, Big Bertha and little Greta is doing fine but Big Bertha needs a new uh, FEP sheet so that's one of the things I've got to replace in her later on today. Uh, so that'll be fun. Not really, but it'll be fun. I think she's printed 1.3. No. 2.7. About 2.7 to 2.8 million layers, which is a lot. And I mean a lot. Uh, I've got. A Panzer one, no, a Panzer two C, a F pack forty, uh, to paint for my bolt action army as well. I've got to stop printing for the army and just start painting it. I keep realizing I'm missing something. Print it, and then I'm like, ah, crap, because yeah, it's like slowly like plugging fingers and holes and toes and, and whatnot in holes in the side of a ship, you know, instead of just saying to someone aim towards the sh the shore. <laughs> if that makes sense so i've got that to do uh what else um uh, thinking i have got so much shit going on right now um i do need an editor i'm not gonna lie i'm i can't record the content make the content and edit the content at the same time anymore i'm just just running out of time i really am but the problem is i don't have a substantial following yet on any platform like i used to um because i can't get the content out fast enough this cup is filthy i gotta wash this cup up so it's a never-ending circle if that makes sense and uh so yeah show that shucks uh reacher season two um uh, 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 the, 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 the finale for season 2 uh, aired, aired well it's available to watch 
um so i'll be doing a review that's another thing if you guys want me to do reviews of tv shows and stuff let me know bleep bloop in the comment section down below what you want me to watch and give my honest take on movies uh, uh tv shows things of that nature and i will will do it okay uh even other content creators if you think i will enjoy a certain content creator bleep bloop their name down below i will watch some of their content and i will give an honest opinion of them okay so because I, I know a lot of people have been asking me what what youtube content creators do i watch um i mostly watch automotive channels so there is that i'm a bit of a gearhead so i watch uh, vice grip garage hard up garage um motor trend power nation um things of that nature i watch a lot of car car uh, uh youtube channels um mostly because i'm just a gearhead i'm a petrol head i love cars um my brother he likes motorcycles my brother got his moped license first uh, i think he's cleared to go all the way up to fuck what is he up to now i know he's got a class two or a class three motorcycle license now he can damn near ride anything with two wheels um so there is that i mean i i know he he at one point wanted to be a motorcycle instructor but uh that went sideways and he started a construction company sold it um when he found out he was ill um and he's just been coasting along if that makes sense because uh, he's sick like my brother really is sick he's lost a lot of weight um and I will be popping up in March, um, January, February. It's no February. I'll be popping up in February to uh, see him uh, after his surgery, of course. Uh, so knock on wood, you know, knock on wood, his surgery uh, goes successful. Because um, that's all I can, all I can do. Everything's out of my hands. He's my younger brother. I wish him well. I really do. Oh, and a big thank you. To someone who bought me this <laughs> in my last coffee time with Cobra, I talked about a black Doberman that I had as a as a uh, had as a pet called called Ben. Well, someone got me a Great Dane, a black Great Dane as a pet. So <laughs> I have a black Great Dane as a pet. <laughs> And so, yeah, so there's that. So thank you to, they know who they are, but they asked not to be uh, 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 talked about. Uh, so there you go. Thank you. It was very kind of you. And I mean that from the whole of my heart. Thank you. They also gifted me a new keyboard. That is one I'm going to be um, talking about in another upcoming video. Uh, it's made by Alua. Uh, some of you old school subscribers will know that I had a um, a deal with Alua back in the day when I was streaming on Twitch, uh, and I used to give away their uh, Alua Cobra 808 headsets. Really fucking good headsets until obviously they changed the design and they went downhill. Um, but yeah, it's just good to see the old Alua logo on my desk again. I was like. Wow, that's a blast from the past, you know. And uh, so, yeah, I got that, and it came with a crappy right-handed mouse. I'm left-handed, so that sucks. Um, got a bit of a migraine going on right behind my eye, so it could be a uh, photosensitive seizure. It could be going on. I, I have been suffering from seizures, um, so there is that. <laughs> and the messed up thing is. <laughs> The messed up thing is, I haven't told anyone. So, shoot me now. But, uh, yeah, I used, to, I used to suffer from seizures when I lived in Utah. Um, electrolytic seizures. Uh, namely, my body overprocesses salt. So, um, this is why I tend to put a lot of salt in my food. It's because my body just rushes right through it. It just takes it, consumes it, and it's gone. It is gone to the point where 
most guys when they sweat you get the wet stain and whatnot i get like a cloud like a cloud uh, a cloud texture on my clothing and it's not from my deodorant it's actually the salt you can actually yeah salt my body literally secretes it too quickly which is why dogs love me because dogs love licking salt so do horses uh all animals for some reason prefer salt to anything else i don't know why they just do and so this is why my 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 horses that i used to have in utah um would always constantly be licking me don't know why they just would uh till i found out that uh, i have an electrolytic uh, a system where my body just absorbs salt and just pushes it out it doesn't retain it my body doesn't retain salt um uh, so that kind of sucks which is why things like uh ramen noodles um most people are like because they always put too much salt or flavor packeting or whatnot in there doesn't affect me at all um but with that said it also means that because my body overly processes salt i.e my body's constantly trying to consume salt which leads to my current other health issue which is uh i have arthritis really bad arthritis in my hips and my lower back um and it was agitated when i got hit by a car in september of last year um i'm fine um i had a, a Fra uh, like a hair hairline fracture in my hip which fucking hurt like a dickens um and i think it was like my i was like two lower discs in my lower back are, are really bad hence that's why there's a pillow no joke there's a pillow right here to help force my spine out like this otherwise it will start to yeah so there's that which is why I can't sit and do long form streams anymore. It's because it physically hurts me. My back just can't handle it anymore. So that sucks. But I do try when I can stream. I do try to stream for as long as I can. Um, but it gets to the point where I just my can't I just can't physically do it anymore because of the pain. So it does suck. Um, it has nothing to do with the fact that I don't have games to play. I do. It just it's the fact that I can't physically sit here anymore. You know. Um, same as painting um, there's a reason why i can't do you know a good five to eight hour painting session anymore is because my lower back and and yeah i just can't do it anymore and it fucking sucks and i mean it fucking sucks royally so but what can you do well guys coffee's gone so you know what happens Stay safe, have fun, keep your shows flying, keep your enemies dying. Cobra Commander is out, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao.